Good afternoon. I'm Brad Welch. I'm Jake Kaufman. I'm Jared Wicke. And I'm Jake Stouffer. And we are an Iowa State University capstone team in the industrial engineering department. And today we'll be talking about our project with American Equity. To introduce the problem that American Equity presented to us, they struggle with an underperforming email customer service system. The customer service system has many wasteful steps that makes it unnecessarily inefficient and leads to really long lead times on responses. The system also lacks traceability in regarding which customer service employee is responsible for answering which customer service inquiries. And lastly, the system lacks trackability of important metrics like turnaround time and inquiry categorization, which we'll get into here soon. Through our discussions with American Equity, we came up with two main objectives. Um, provide analysis on email data gathered in terms of inquiry categorization, turnaround time, meaning time it takes to respond to an email and one response fulfillment, uh, solving a problem in one response. Uh, the next one was utilizing the email data analysis to map out an email's future flow from initial inquiry to completed service that will decrease turnaround time by an estimated 10%. To address the first objective, we wanted to uh, gather data <clears throat> from the current email system and put together uh, kind of a current state understanding. We did that through two main methods. Uh, to track the turnaround time, we used an email function that American Equity provided for us. And uh, to find the inquiry categorization, uh, we manually read and placed emails into their corresponding subcategories uh, so we could gain a further understanding of how the system was operating, not just how it was operating, but also uh, what was going through it. And this gave us a flow chart uh, that gave us an opportunity to see how the system was currently operating. As you can see, there's a lot of front loading. It was mostly going through one person and it was very irregular and overall inefficient. Yeah, so looking at our results um, for the turnaround time analysis, uh, we chose to break it up into the different steps of the turnaround time and what step was taking the longest so we could find out what to attack for our solution. Um, and kind of the, the biggest thing we had in terms of non-value added activity was that step where it's uh, from when the email is received by American Equity to when it is forwarded to a customer service representative for them to reply to it. That was about three hours on average and uh, nothing's happening to the email at that time. And uh, it's really just a unnecessary step that we felt we could eliminate. So that's where we targeted our solution. So uh, like Jared said, we are recommending uh, using a combination of both scheduling and Microsoft Power Automate to remove, to remove a lot of those inefficient steps um, with that one person. And the hope here is to create a more efficient and higher quality customer service system. So with that, jumping into the scheduling system, basically the idea is here for each respective inbox that American Equity has for customer service, the team manager for that inbox will create a weekly schedule assigning customer service employees to watch that inbox from anywhere from two to four hours. And while this won't be their main priority work while they're on the schedule, um, they are responsible for monitoring the inbox and trying to respond to as many customer service emails during that time as possible. Using the scheduling system will remove the inefficient steps of the one employee who was responsible in the current state for forwarding all the emails. So the other half of our solution is utilizing Microsoft Power Automate to somewhat automate the system. Um, basically, the two things we're using this for are to streamline the communication between the teams to ensure that every email is taken care of and replied to in a timely fashion. Um, and then the other thing we're looking at it for is metrics. It'll make it a lot easier to track the turnaround time because you'll be able to see whenever an email was sent um, or received. And it will also make it easier to see how many emails each employee is replying to uh, from American Equities end. So here's kind of our flow chart of our final solution. As you can see, it uh, is not as front loaded as the uh, current state was, and it just kind of will flow through there a little bit more efficiently uh, and allow for a, a quicker turnaround time on those emails. So to quantify uh, this, our solution, we did it through two main avenues. First off, we'd see an increase uh, in email inquiries coming in for American Equity. Uh, and through some numbers that American Equity gave us, we found that to be a uh, savings of $120,000 per year. And the second avenue being eliminating the need for forwarding and logging uh, as, in, as it was in their old system. And also through the same numbers that American Equity gave us, we found that to save $20,000 per year for a total of $140,000 per year. Uh, and we could see additional savings down the road coming through a 30% reduction in fault phone calls. And just as the email system gets used more, uh, but right now we can for sure see $140,000 per year. Thank you.